Hey, this is Presh Tullwalker. A viewer suggested this puzzle to me. It appeared in a magazine by the High IQ Society, Mensa. We have a rectangle. Next to the rectangle is a quarter circle. Next to that is a semicircle. We then have another semicircle, and then we have a larger semicircle. If the area of the rectangle is four square centimeters, what is the area of this shaded region between the large semicircle and these two smaller semicircles? This is a delightful puzzle because at first glance, it appears it's not possible to solve. There just isn't enough information. But if you work through it carefully, it is remarkable there is just enough information to solve this problem. So how can we work it out? Let's go through it step by step. Let's approach the problem by setting dimensions to the lengths of the rectangle. Suppose the horizontal side has a length that's equal to x centimeters, and the vertical side has a length that's equal to y centimeters. We are given the area of the rectangle is equal to 4 square centimeters, so we know that x times y must be equal to 4. We will take this information and we will put it to the side. We will now calculate the area of the region shaded in green in terms of x and y. In a rectangle, we know that opposite sides have the same length. So the other side of the rectangle also has a length that's equal to y. On this side of the rectangle, we have a quarter circle. So we could swing this radius around and we know that this length is also equal to y. So now we know the diameters of the two semicircles and let's just focus on the three semicircles and get rid of this quarter circle and the rectangle. We will solve for the area that's shaded in green in terms of the variables x and y. The area that's shaded in green is equal to the area of this large semicircle minus the areas of these two smaller semicircles along its diameter. So what's the area of each of these shapes? We know that the radius of this large semicircle will be half the diameter. So this radius will be equal to one half of x plus y. We can then calculate the radius of this smaller semicircle. It will be equal to one half of the diameter. So it will be equal to x over two. Finally, the radius of this smallest semicircle will be half of its diameter. So it will be equal to y over two. So we can now set up an equation to solve for the green area. We just need to take the area of this large semicircle minus these two smaller semicircles areas. We know that a semicircle has an area of one half pi r squared. So we can substitute in for the values of r in each of these semicircles. So we have the large semicircle and r will be equal to one half x plus y. Then we have this semicircle where r is equal to x over two. And finally, we have r is equal to y over two. Let us now focus on these variables and simplify this expression. So at first it seems like we haven't made any progress. All we've done is introduce unknown variables x and y, and we've created a more complicated expression. But let's see if we have some magic cancellation so that everything works out in terms of the term x times y, which equals four. The first step is we will expand each of these binomials and simplify each fraction. We now end up that all of the denominators are equal to eight, so we can just cancel across the numerators. We have pi x squared, which will cancel with minus pi x squared. We also have pi y squared, which cancels with minus pi y squared. So this entire expression will simplify to be two pi x y divided by eight. And this will simplify to be equal to pi over four times x times y. So all of this simplifies to this expression. And now we know that x times y is equal to four. So we can substitute in four right here and pi over four times four is exactly equal to pi. Therefore, the answer to this question is the shaded region is equal to pi centimeter squared. And that's the answer. What a wonderful puzzle. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.